Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more Path of Exile. In today's video, I'm trying to reach map uh, maps with my elementalist. So I'm giving you guys a little bit of an update. We changed the support spells, and we did decide to go for the golems. So I have now done my third laboratory, uh, or no labyrinth, I should say. I've got four golems immune to um, uh, ignites and things like that. Nice damage boost. And uh, what I'm using to support uh, myself is number one here. We've got uh, to support basically my single target uh, fireball. Uh, it's of course Armageddon brand, really good fiery AoE. And then the other one is on a totem, uh, just so that it can fire off a couple. I'm gonna show that to you guys. We have this right here. Uh, what the hell is it called actually? It's called a Firestorm. Uh, really, really nice AoE and uh, actually works well with uh, the Ritual League. So my Firestorm also, uh, my Armageddon brand also has elemental uh, that it like um, prolifer proliferation. You can see that right here. So that just, you know, leaves more damage on the ground for AoE stuff. And then uh, my flame dash also does a significant amount of damage. It's really only for the big guys that I need my fireballs. Um, so they are really meant to be single target fireballs. And so what I usually do, we just drop some of this stuff, clear a path ahead of me and uh, yeah, look for, uh, for, for some of the tough guys. Now, sometimes I get caught out, but just look at that. It just keeps raining fire from the sky, which is pretty damn cool. And we can go for that first ritual over there. So one of the things that I've learned here, the more stuff you kill within the ritual cir uh, circle at first, uh, the harder they get. And then uh, all of this, I think, comes into your next ritual as well. So if you can uh, destroy a boss within this circle, it'll show up on the next one and the next one. Uh, so potentially that can yield you a lot of rewards. But yeah, for these rituals, what I tend to just do is drop the totem, Drop a couple of these guys and uh, just try not to die, basically. But look, look at all of that fire damage. Then we get a couple of yellows. I just add in a fireball and they are done. And then here, uh, axis very specific. Yeah, some. I'm actually going to take that. Uh, I, I did uh, watch a couple of videos and uh, noted that normally uh, these rituals become a lot more rewarding once you get into maps. So we shouldn't, uh, you know, waste too much time on them while we're still reaching that point. Here we go. That's good. And uh, you may wonder why am I not using some other uh, golems? Uh, it's because right now I, I just don't have... Uh, the uh, the agility to use any of the other ones so still need to to work on that a little bit i think uh, an earth golem would definitely help in the mix here and that's it we got to go straight to kitava all right let's talk to sin and then let's see let's see what we can do here in the altar of hunger so there she is gonna drop these guys and then gonna do couple fireballs in her general direction try and avoid the damage that should be avoidable reset the totem there we go first phase is done heart is exposed let's put all that stuff on there really fire off some of my fireballs at all of them she grabs that back and we are oh my, I'm, I'm using my mana pot a little bit too much so let's be careful really don't want to take too much damage here Whoops, get out of that. Okay, that's going, that's honestly going pretty damn well. I love the resummoning, automatic resummoning of my um, little guys as well. So here we go. Just use those big attacks. Do need to do a little bit of mana here. There we go. Next phase is down. Hard is there again. Dropping that stuff, adding in a couple more of these. There we go. Good, 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 good. All right. It's just sheer damage. I'm really not tanky. 2,500 HP, 1,204 mind over matter. It's not a lot. Grabbing Sin, that's okay. Just gonna toss in some fireballs. For now, we're staying out of trouble decently well. Gonna drop full firebrands. What the hell? Uh... Uh, 
And that got me. Jesus Christ, that full fire damage thing got me. I think I don't have... <laughs> I actually think that I don't have anyone... Ah, yeah, removes burning on use. Why the hell didn't that work? So we actually just got wrecked on that Kitava right at the end. Right at the end, she just did so much AoE that I was in, uh, in too much trouble. And there we go. So... They just managed to make it, but not without dying. Luckily, I am playing in softcore. And uh, it was really the plan here, of course, take a glass cannon. I think I'll be able to do like lots of uh, damage very quickly uh, for, for clearing maps and trying to, to gather some stuff. And then we'll see if I can work on my survivability. But here we go. We can get back to Oriad. Maybe I'll show you guys what I went with. So really crazy. Right? I only just got this constitution note. And here a little bit of extra HP. For the rest it's fire damage. Uh, even one damage. Fire damage. Uh, the golems. Fire damage. Fire damage. Fire damage. And more fire damage here as well. Actually got a really good socket, I think. 15% fire damage, 8% mana, 15 gold rest, 12 gold and lightning rest. That's definitely pretty damn good. And then here is the ascension, right? Took uh, Shaper of Flames, Leech of the Primordial and Elemancer for the 35% uh, chance to avoid ele elemental ailments per summoned golem. So we, we should be pretty good. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. When it comes to the maps, of course, there's all that new in-game stuff and everything else to discover. So, lots of work still to do, but got my first character there, my fiery elementalist. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you next time. By the light of Ramako, you...